It's now time for the VP playback. Let's go. Let's go to Severo where the Smoky Bears take on the Knox West Rebels. Both teams are undefeated and they're playing in the beautiful Severo County Stadium. And look at the sight there. And there are the cheerleaders. And the cheerleaders getting rocking and rolling ready for the big game between the two undefeated teams. And let's get things started. Severe County already having a punt early in the first quarter. And oh my goodness, the punt is not very good. Maybe about 10 yards at the most. Uh, you see the West Band, they're feeling pretty good already. The first down and goal, and number 14, the Me Machine, Braden Latham takes it in for the touchdown. He's like, anybody want to give me some? Anybody? Anybody want to give me some? What about you? Pick me up. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And the West Rebels and the fans. Excited and happy and looking for that point to be on the board, but they didn't put it on there. I don't know why, but anyway. 7-0, and Jesse passes it off to number six, and I believe number six name is number six, as number six is looking to get six, but he gets stopped just outside the 10-yard line by the Smokey Bears and the West fans and the cheerleaders for Smokey Bears. They just built a pyramid there, and they're the dance team of cheerleaders, but anyway, they better watch out because it looks like West is about to score again at this time. Number 10 takes it in. That is Silas Cole for the touchdown and he's dapping it up with his teammates and the West fans glad to see 14 on the board 45 seconds left in the first quarter but boom slam bam to the ground number 44 that is Smith see Jay Smith takes him down for the sack forces him after punt and oops it's a little bit blocked he got a little tip of it, and it's going to, of course, put West in great field position once again. Anyway, this time, Jesse, high in the sky. He's got two wide open men, and they both fight for it. And oh my goodness, that's how wide open they were. Two men were open. Anyway, Chili's are flipping out on how they were able to miss that pass. Incredible. Anyway, Jesse, this time, decides to go to number three. That's Marshawn Bowers. He's got some nice moves. He takes it down the sideline, and he skips on in, hops in for the touchdown. Knox West. Oh man, the fans. Whew. Boy, they're like 21-0, 940. I mean, they thought it was going to be a little bit closer at this point. Oh, it was a classic game last year, and you thought it was going to be even a better one this year. But anyway, Smokey Bears wide open, number three. Woo wee! That was Pate. For goodness sake, he's like, man, I can't believe it. He overthrew me. But anyway, forces the Smokey Bears to have to whoop, oh, trick play, and uh, <laughs> first down. Man, that was a gutsy call. Deep in their own territory, they go for that, but they had to try something to be able to try to uh, come back into this game. So it's first down for the Smokey Bears, and this time, Hoffman finds... Uh, 14, that's Braden Latham, and man, he's already having an incredible game in the first half. And the West Rebels, once again, get the bells ringing, and they get it rocking and rolling, and there he is, number 10, Cole, the man, getting the hard yardage, getting it in for a first down, and this time they decide to keep it on the ground and give it to Cole again, and Cole finds his way, tiptoes his way through, cuts, makes a move, and he takes it inside the five-yard line, and the West Rebels set up as they go first and goal, and this time they give it to... I believe that is number seven flying high into heaven for a touchdown for the Rebels. 28-0, 7.43 left in the first half. Hoffman looking, and he goes down. And I believe 44 one more time. Smith. Does the dirty work and takes him down to the ground time. This time, Hoffman looks and he flies it high in the sky at number 11. That's Knox Kimball, and he takes it for a big long game for a first down. Smoky Bears this time off and feeling good, but oh, feeling a little bit too good. Puts it in the wrong hands, and oh no, off to the races. That is Wren taking it in for the touchdown, and the West fans going crazy as Wren just keeps running and keeps moving and takes it all the way to the sideline, and whoop, gets a little high five there. And it's 35 to 0, 530 left in the first half. And the West fans, they're getting tired of clapping. Everybody's not even clapping anymore. Anyway, Smokey Bears still undefeated at this point, trying to uh, make something happen. Anyway, that was fourth down. Turns the ball over, of course, puts West in great field position again. And then right up the middle, touchdown. 42 0, 240 left in the first half. 
This time, Jesse, you know what? He says, I'm just going to keep running. I'm going to keep running. Oh, excellent block there by West. He takes it down the sidelines, and boom, he gets in, and boom! He takes out the cameraman! Oh, but the cameraman, he gets back up. But Oh, let's see that in slow motion. Boom! Cut block to the cameraman. <laughs> but he gets back up. He's all right. Oh, boy. Anyway, Wes in great field position. 49 seconds left. 42-0. And dashing and dancing his way on in again. Wes flying high in the sky for another touchdown. 49-0. It's halftime show. Let's look to Wes Band play. All right, Severe County Smoky Bear's turn. All right, you see, there they are, Ralph and Ron. The Ralph and Ron Show calling the game for your high school sports, the game of the week. And, uh, well, a little more after. A little extra halftime entertainment there. As you can see the guys playing. Uh, I mean, we used to play cut ball back there in the end zone. But anyway, poof, look at that pun. You got some future stars there for the Smoky Bears. Anyway, they probably need them right now. Anyway, Hoffman, he finds. And going down the sideline, number 11. That's Knox for the first down. What? Or excuse me. Hoffman, high in the sky, wide open, number 10. Can he get in? He gets close. Acres. Hayden Acres, big time, big time play to bring that energy back. Fourth down, or excuse me, fourth quarter, because you know we got the running clock. Anyway, Hoffman trying to put some points on the board. They get just a little bit closer. They find Pate there and takes the seven yard line. And you see they bobbing their head. They're like, we feel a touchdown. We feel a touchdown. We feel a touchdown. Well, let's just find out if they can get one. Anyway, I believe we've got a fourth down situation here. And Hoffman at QB looking to go into the end zone. And he finds a man open, but ooh, that time drops and he's like, oh man, I had it. But that's okay, the fans are still hyped. Cause you know what? They're still got four wins behind their belt. They're now four and one, but you know what? Still a long season to go, but you know what? Wes says lights out. They got the lights, Saint lights out. As they have a 49-0 skunk. Anyway, vote for your player of the week. Go to yourhighschoolsports.com. Let me see ya. Hey, the real big Hey, the real All day, all day, let me see ya. Make them clap. Hey, now we're